Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today we're going to be talking about torque wrenches, how to set them, and we're looking at this DeWalt one here as the example. And you can see the range on this one is from 50 to 250 foot-pounds. Uh, if you do look at it uh, once it's out of the box, you will notice it does go down as low as 20 foot-pounds, but it's probably not going to be too accurate, so uh, you'd want to use a smaller torque wrench for those smaller increments. Uh, but uh, anyway, this is the one that we're going to be working with today. If you want to see the part number, it's down here, and I'll put a link to where you can get this in the description. And so um, basically as we open this up, there's not really too much to a torque wrench. Some people think torque wrench means it gives you more power, and really what you're doing is limiting how much torque you're applying in it so it will click when it you get to that limit it does have a forward and reverse setting i really like to use these only for forward as you're tightening things down i don't want to break things loose with torque wrenches um, just because they're a little more delicate than your average standard um, breaker bar so uh, in the side here you're going to see uh, ratings for foot pounds of torque and then on the back side of it, you're going to find the Newton meter. So it's just a different scale that's used. So just make sure you're using the same scale for the specification you're using so you don't over or under tighten anything. And um, a lot of the squiggly lines here is what gets people confused when it comes time to setting the torque wrench. So at the bottom, you have a little dial ranging from zero, and it goes you know all the way around to and zero being 10 again. Uh, and then it, under that it has it in newton meters since it's a different scale and so basically you pull down on the sleeve to unlock it uh, that way it doesn't change its setting and as you're pulling down then you can spin it and that's going to change the torque rating so as an example here let's go to the 100 foot pound mark here so as you can see you'll see the 100 and if you look at it there's a little line that comes from the 100 and it actually drops down the reason it drops down is so that the 100 will still be exposed when you slide it around and it's now up to that level. So uh, for example, this 100, we're gonna go ahead and spin this around until it's uh, basically covering um, the 90. And then all you would be able to see is the 100 and that line as it drops down would be at the top of the torque wrench. Okay, so we've spun this all the way up to the 90. So see where the 90 is? See how it drops down and our zero is on it? So now as we spin this, this is going 97, 98, 99, and 100 when we put the zero mark uh, right there. So this is what it should look like to be set to 100 foot-pounds. You can still see the 100, and where that line drops down, that's uh, right on the zero mark showing that we're right at 100. So if we were to turn it one more click to the right, that'd be 101, 102, 103, etc. cetera. Uh, so now as far as using it goes, uh, check your specification, because like for these Mustangs, the torque rating is 95 to 100, um, and trucks, it's a little bit bigger. Okay, what I also like to do is get a small extension, like this one, and um, I'm gonna put it on the torque wrench because the torque wrench handle is gonna be right up against the fender, especially with, with these longer torque wrenches. So this really helps just to kind of get it away from uh, the car a little bit more. Uh, and it's really not gonna throw off the accuracy any. Uh, then we're gonna take our socket for the proper size for the lug nut. And uh, now we're gonna go ahead and uh, tighten this down. Make sure you're in the tightening uh, setting so that remember righty tighty, Lefty Lucy, so we're gonna go uh, clockwise here. So what you'll notice is we put it on and you'll hear it click uh, when it reaches that uh, total of amount of foot-pounds that we've set it at, okay? It's also best to have the vehicle's wheel slightly in the air on a jack. So if you're gonna be doing that, um, you, you need somebody either holding the brakes, so the wheel doesn't spin, or the tire slightly touching the ground. You don't really want to just torque everything down with the wheel and the full weight of the vehicle on the ground. Um, but these have already been torqued, so I'm just kind of going over to show you. And we're doing the start pattern. We're doing every other bolt or every other lug nut uh, cross from each other. And so we're just tightening it down until you hear that click, and that's when you stop. Now, when you're done, you do want to spin this all the way back down to zero. It's best to keep it stored 
with no load on it uh, for to maintain your accuracy. Also, don't get in a hurry and overspin it uh, past its zero marker. That can break it. Uh, so here we are with the, the truck. As you can see, it's a little bit higher of a, of a rating. We're going to go ahead and spin this up to a 145 and use that as an example. So once we get to the 140 mark, then we're just going to go five numbers more to get to 145. So here we are at 140, and so now you can see that we're at zero on the ring. Now we're 141, 42, 43, 44, and 45. Okay, and so that's how you know that you're at the right setting there. We're past the 140 mark, and we're on the number five, so that's 145 foot-pounds. Uh, so now it's just the same process. We're going lug nut by lug nut, and we're doing every lug nut opposite of each other. It's called the star pattern. And we're just basically just pushing it until you hear it click. Once it clicks, you stop. But I have had a lot of people ask me, you know, for a, a torque wrench. And what I hear they're asking for is they need more leverage. They needed a breaker bar. So just to clear it up, a torque wrench isn't for more torque per se, it's to tell you when you've reached the torque threshold and you shouldn't be tightening it anymore. And that's uh, what the bar does is it will click to let you know that you've uh, made it to that maximum. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I remember still taking the torque wrench to my dad and asking him to set it for me. And it was something that seemed confusing at the time, although it's something that's very simple. So just make sure it's lined up properly. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel and I'll put some playlists in the video description on more videos that I have on tool reviews and uh, some other repairs. Thanks guys.